What is going on YouTube? Uh, we find ourselves out here with my dad's WRX once again. Um, so I was doing some digging around the car and when I lifted up the mat, I realized that there was wires for some subs. So then I started looking more and I came to realize that the car was already wired for subs and that the wires are sitting under the driver's, uh, the driver's seat to hook up an amp. So I want to go ahead and grab this amp right here. Um, the car already has an aftermarket head unit, so it should be super easy. It made the job way easier that it's wired up already. And I'm going to go ahead and install this. It should be super easy. Uh, I'm going to grab a subwoofer. We have some up there. Um, I'm going to throw it in the back of this. We're going to tune it, and it should get better sound. It should sound way better. And let's just see how this goes. I'll keep you guys updated. Before getting started, I did a pop up the engine bay. Um, came to realize that it is connected. I mean, it's ran through the firewall and everything. All it is now is just pretty much installing it. So I'm gonna go under the driver's side uh, seat, and then I'm gonna see what's going on there. I'm gonna scoot the car over this way more so I can open that door right open. And yeah. I'll let you guys hear the car and I move it. I did realize that when I was uh, backing in, the lip scraped. That was a problem I used to have with my old hatch. Should be fine, I mean, it's just a front lip. But let's just get to this. I'm gonna go ahead and move the seat back as far as I can. And then I've got access to all the wires right here. Um, all I need is RCA inputs, they're right here. Uh, the remote, and it's right here. Uh, the ground, the power, got them all. And the speaker wire, the one that's ran all the way to the back, it's all right here. Should be super easy process. Um, all I need is uh, the, the wrenches to open these up and close them down. Dude, it's gonna be super easy. This is like, the one that taught me how to do this was my dad. Um, He's been doing this for a long time. He's the one that taught me. I've done this on a lot of cars already. So this just made it way easier that it's all wired up. Should be ready to go. All right, so I'm gonna be working down here. Um, should be super easy. Make sure these are all open. Oh shoot, a little too open. Should be all good. Let's just get this wiring process going. All right guys, got her done. Uh, like I said, ground, remote is a little blue one, and uh, power. And then over here, I got the, the wires for the subs, the positive, positive and negative. Then I got the RCAs all hooked up. I'm not gonna tuck this in quite yet under the seat, because I'm gonna turn the car on um, just to see if it's getting power. You know, bring you guys along that. So I'm gonna turn the car on. And doesn't look like this light is turning on. That would be an issue. Actually, there it is. So it's got some power. All I need to do now is uh, come back here. Ooh, sorry for that. There we go, I need to come back here. 
Uh, I'm gonna throw the sub back in there, hook it up, then I should be ready to go. Uh, I'll try to get it before and after. Um, here's me trying to do that. All right, guys, to give you a comparison, I'm gonna play this song. I'm gonna start it right around uh, 20 seconds. It's a non-copyright song, and I got this meter right here that measures uh, how loud the music's gonna be. Uh, the stereo is turned up at 30, so I'm gonna do this the same when I put the sub in. So this is an example. And I'm going to record the meter so you see what it's like when this is at 30 playing. I'm going to play it for about 5 seconds, maybe 10. And then we'll get an idea of how much louder it got. That was about 20 seconds. The highest that this got to was right around um, 95. Let's install the sub and let's see how the sub does when I play the same song, same time, same volume, and we'll see where this meter jumps to. All right, so the subwoofer we're gonna use is gonna be a JL Audio W6. This is a super good speaker. Uh, I think it's gonna sound good in the car because it does have a port. We're just gonna get this hooked up. It'll only take about three seconds. All right, not three maybe, but it'll probably take about a minute. And then I'll give you guys a comparison here in a few seconds. All right guys, I kind of got it set in a certain location where it looks kind of good. Uh, had a perfect little design because it's almost hitting the top, but it's not. Um, it fits snug in there. So we'll go ahead and see how it does. Let's go back inside. All right, guys, so we're outside now, or sorry, back inside. Got the song at 20 seconds, just to make sure. It is at 30. Uh, the volume is at 30 once again. I've got the song, and we're going to go ahead and play, and we're going to see what the difference is. So as you can see, it's kind of the same, but I'm not even kidding. It does not sound anything the same. Um, the sub does make a big difference. It was at a steady 95. Um, that is with no adjustments done to the stereo or the amp itself. So I'm sure, to be honest, the way it sounds right now is the way I like it because I don't like too much bass. But uh, the car sounds really good. I think that's a good level. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and end the video right here. Uh, actually, I'll play the song one more time and I'll get a video. Just I'm gonna go, I'm gonna step outside and I'll uh, show you guys uh, the sub while it's playing. Any guys got uh, anyway guys thanks for watching if you like the video like comment subscribe and share uh, share it to a friend it's free it doesn't cost any money thanks for watching <laughs>